Our planet has known terrible floods, powerful tornadoes, destructive hurricanes. Those dangerous natural disasters are familiar to us. Just picture this. Winds howling through the atmosphere at about 500 miles per hour, and they can stick around for weeks. These insane winds have the potential to damage the ozone layer, making our Earth a hostile place for life. It's not some wild Netflix dystopia. These are real-life hypercanes. A hypercane is a hypothetical extreme tropical cyclone the likes of which we've never known. To kick off a cyclone, the sea surface temps have to hit around 122 degrees Fahrenheit, basically hot enough to sear a rare steak. It's tough to imagine, especially since that's nearly 22 degrees hotter than the highest ocean temperature ever recorded. Yep, the hottest ocean water ever was recorded in Kuwait in July 2020. What could cause such a serious increase in temperature? A powerful comet or asteroid impact, an eruption of a supervolcano, or a large underwater eruption. There's even a theory that a series of hypercanes could have sped up the demise of non-avian dinos after the infamous asteroid impact. An important difference between a hypercane and any present-day hurricane is that a hypercane would rise as far as the upper stratosphere. That's up to 25 to 35 miles over the surface of our planet. Meanwhile, present-day hurricanes only go as high as the lower stratosphere, up to 6 miles above Earth. It would make a dramatic, catastrophic difference, but we'll talk more about it later. Hypercanes could gust to 600 miles per hour. For comparison, the most powerful recorded tropical cyclone in terms of maximum sustained winds was Hurricane Patricia. At its peak, it reached a speed of 215 miles per hour. This speed pales in comparison with that of a hypercane. Can you imagine how much destruction such a natural disaster could cause? Should they ever form, hypercanes will also have an enormous lifespan. They could rage for a couple of weeks, if not more. Extremely low pressure inside hypercanes would support massive storm systems the size of North America. At the same time, hypercanes could be as small as 15 miles across. Such relatively tiny formations would lose their strength in no time after wandering into colder waters. On the other hand, the waters after a hypercane could hypothetically remain hot for weeks, hot enough for more hypercanes to form. Since a hypercane would reach far up into the stratosphere, there would be a real chance it could damage Earth's ozone layer. And it would have devastating consequences for life on our planet. The ozone layer absorbs some of the harmful radiation from the sun, preventing it from reaching the planet's surface. Let's just hope to never see a hypercane in our lifetime. Another potential disaster that could seriously harm Earth could be the activity of our very own sun. I mean a massive solar flare. Few natural disasters can wreak as much global havoc. A solar flare wouldn't destroy buildings like a tsunami or earthquake. It wouldn't end lives in the same way an asteroid or a supervolcano would. But if the worst comes to the worst, it would destroy the entire electronic infrastructure of our planet. Recovering from the consequences of this catastrophe would cost trillions of dollars. An incredibly powerful solar flare could cause loads of infrastructures to fail, including communication, medicine, banking systems, and transportation. Earth would be left without electricity for a long time, and people wouldn't be able to reboot the already broken power grids. Water supply systems would be out of order. There would be no food in supermarkets. In 1859, People in different parts of the world woke up in the middle of the night because it was so light outside, they thought it was already morning. The skies were illuminated with colorful auroras. They showed up even in the regions where no one had seen them before, like the Bahamas, Hawaii, or Jamaica. Telegraphs got electrically charged, even though they were disconnected. Fires started in many regions. In other words, the consequences were already catastrophic even when technology barely existed. Imagine the avalanche of problems a solar flare could trigger today. Then there are gamma ray bursts. You can't come across this kind of radiation in your everyday life. A gamma ray burst occurs when two neutron stars collide when a massive star collapses. Gamma rays could turn into a serious danger to our home planet. 
if a gamma ray burst happened close to Earth, it would likely rip our ozone layer away. And you already know how crucial this layer is. Plus, gamma rays could create ground ozone. This kind of ozone could seep into the ocean since it's water soluble, and that would lead to a mass extinction of marine life and plants. According to some theories, if a gamma ray burst occurred within around 200 light years away from Earth and its jets were pointed directly at us, our planet would be vaporized. If the distance was greater, but still in the Milky Way, the resulting radiation would sterilize all life on the side of the Earth pointing towards the burst. Another catastrophe that could potentially destroy our planet might be a super eruption, an eruption of a supervolcano. Yellowstone Park is located on top of one of those. The last massive eruption in that region happened about 664,000 years ago. The next eruption might be due anytime soon. Luckily, at the moment, there's no evidence that the supervolcano is waking up or getting ready for an eruption. But if it did happen, a massive column of lava and ash would shoot up into the air to a height of several miles. The volcano would keep pumping ash for days on end. But the most dangerous consequences of the eruption for all living creatures would be ash fallout. Buildings and trees would collapse under the weight of this dense substance. In just a couple of days, a 10-foot layer of ash would cover the territory of a 50 miles around the center of the eruption. After the ash got into the stratosphere, the temperatures would start to drop all over the world. The eruption would most likely be rich in sulfur, an effective sunblocker. So soon it would get so cold that there would be no summer in the entire world for a few following years. It would be hard for animals to find food and clean water. Earth could also encounter a wandering black hole, a region in space where gravity is so powerful that not even light can escape its clutches. At the moment, the nearest to us black hole is around 1,500 light years away. Seems like there's nothing to worry about. Well, until you find out about wandering black holes. Now things definitely get creepier. If such a black hole entered the solar system, Earth would be doomed. Recently, for the first time ever, astronomers have found a solitary wandering black hole in our home galaxy. This space traveler is 7.1 times as massive as the Sun and is now 5,200 light years away. Scientists discovered wandering black holes before, but those were in other galaxies. This one is the first to pop up in the Milky Way. Giant sinkholes could also swallow entire communities. For example, when one of such sinkholes opened up in the city of New York in the summer of 2022, it pulled a parked van into the Earth. And it wasn't the only sinkhole in that area. Local inhabitants reported around 4,000 sinkholes all over the city between July 2021 and June 2022. This kind of problem is also very common in Florida, and it's much more serious than it may sound. Sinkholes open all of a sudden, pulling down everything and everyone that happens to be nearby. Sinkholes appear all over the world. They're totally unpredictable and form without warning. Luckily, experts know what causes them. In some regions, there are vast areas of groundwater. But during droughts, this water dries up, which creates large, empty caverns. After heavy rains, the surface over such a cavern is likely to collapse, creating a sinkhole within minutes. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.